Hello, everybody. Thank you for coming out tonight. My name is Dave Walker, and I'm a member of the Georgetown Senior Center. I've been in Georgetown now for 44 years. I've been with the Georgetown newspaper for about that long, and that's where I met Virginia 28, 29 years ago when she called up and wanted a story and then proceeded to call me every month for another story. But she was a go-getter and she was a terrific lady and it's really remarkable looking around this room because I know that your path crossed hers somewhere and everybody is better off because of that. Uh, I just feel it, I know it. Patrice Miller, uh, Martha Wilson, all the volunteers here, Mary Meyer, all the seniors, <clears throat> uh, George. We had a board meeting, a makeshift board meeting last week. And uh, we sat around looking at each other. and we, we didn't know who was on the board for sure. And we started to discuss what was Virginia's vision. What did she want to, what was her vision? And this is her vision right here. Everybody has participated in the Georgetown Senior Center in some way, whether working in the kitchen, serving food, driving the van, donating money, encouraging Virginia, helping her in some way, being her friend. I know Frank and Georgine are here. They have her over every Christmas for Christmas dinner, and then they worry for days whether Virginia liked the meal. And <laughs> Everybody here was a friend of Virginia's. Herb and Patrice, Karen Snyder, second generation uh, volunteer. Her father, Johnny Snyder, was a big contributor and a great friend to the center. Uh, Richard Levy, his father, Sam Levy. So it's been, the torch has been passed to the next generation. So I think it's terrific. And <clears throat> I just want to thank all of you for coming, and I love all these seniors. I've gotten to know them very well the last three months. Uh, I'm driving the van and washing the dishes, and Mary Meyer is my boss, so. But I'm the author of a book called Visionaries in Our Midst, Ordinary People Who Are Changing Our World, and Virginia Allen was one of the people I focused on in my book. There are 18. And the book came out in September, mid-September, just a few weeks after Virginia's stroke. And um, so it felt really bittersweet, but I'm glad she got to hold a copy of the book. And she knew, but she really didn't have the strength to really read it. But she had read the chapter about herself and gone over it with me a number of times. But really what she wanted to do was read the other chapters. <laughs> And, um, and she kept asking me about the book, and she was always encouraging, always. Um, but, but I want to share one little story with you, because in the book, I realized I really didn't know how old Virginia was. And, and I, um, I said, by the way, Virginia, um, when's your birthday? I don't even know if she told me. And then I said, well, how old are you? And she said, you don't ask a lady that. And, and she, she, was, she was sweet but firm about it. She didn't chastise me, but I knew I had said something really wrong. And, and, then, and I said, well, Virginia, we're friends. And, and plus, I, I really would like to know for the book. And she said, well, especially not for the book. <laughs> and, I, and at that point, I said, well, Virginia, and this is on the phone. I said, Virginia, um, you know, I can figure it out. And she said, oh, really? And I said, yes. You told me that you retired at such and such an age. The, the Senior Center was started in 1981. It's been going on for so many years. I can add up this number to this number, so I figure you're about, I don't know, 78 to 80. And she, she paused and she said, if that's what you want to put down, that's what go ahead. I said, okay, well, I figured it out. So, uh, I, I don't know how it is in the chapter now because I, I dare not look. I think it will be it'll be a while before I can reread the chapter. But um, she she was a hoot, a real spitfire, as we say back home in Texas. 
just had a lot of spunk and but she also had a way that she everyone just sort of rose to the occasion she brought out the best in people it's a wonderful gift so we all miss her and uh, we're all thinking of you Virginia and I'm really t I, I just wish she could see this but I, I think she's looking down right now and beaming so and thanks to everyone who organized this so beautifully Hi, I just want to say one thing. I'm George Bernardo, and I've been a volunteer here for, uh, well, it'll be 14 years in December. We had a board meeting last week. Uh, a couple of members of the board, I guess as Dave was alluding to, did not know they were on the board. Claire Lease and Janice. So before they could step down, Janice, did you step down officially? No. You're still on it, okay. They appointed a few of us, including Dave, myself, and... Uh, and Wendy, of course. But the, the point of the meeting was what's the future of the center? And I just want to tell you that in the meeting, it never once came up that the center is going to end right now. Okay? So, regardless of how it's done, we're moving forward. And I just think it's important that everybody should know that. And hopefully, you can help out. All right? Thank you. I think it's terrific that this turned out. Last, two weeks ago, we said goodbye to Virginia. We had a few tears. Uh, we got depressed. And tonight, tonight is a night for smiles. And Virginia's, I think, her favorite song, if it wasn't Ave Maria or the theme from Dr. Zhivago, it was Charlie Chaplin's Smile, which he wrote for one of his movies. And I would love if our piano player and Anthony Hyde could do a rendition of Smile right now. <laughs> 